Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel and to those who gave feedback to my videos. My videos were created based on what I learned when I play and also from the other Roblox experts who shared their experiences as well. In that note, you can see different YouTubers sharing almost the same idea. So continue watching my video guys. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share you how to make a hold E to open door in Roblox Studio. So before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe and turn notification bell to all to see more videos. So let's begin. So um, did you remember that I made a video about um, how to make how um, two ways of opening door in Roblox Studio and there is no hold it to open the door because in that video I I did I didn't know how to script there and now I know how to script on hold E to open door so let's begin all right so first we're gonna insert the part there you go now we will change it size as the door okay there you go make it little bit smaller there you go now let's change the color I'm going to make it color dark orange because it looks like a brown color now I'm gonna change the material into wood there you go now make sure right here is anchor or you can search anchor on properties all right so anchor it there you go and the part is now anchor anchored all right so go on explorer if you don't have the explorer you have to go on view then press um explorer right here this is the explorer make make sure you have the explorer okay because explorer is very important all right so let's name this this door into closed door there you go all right so now let's duplicate that okay where is the duplicate button okay right here uh, this is the duplicate button you can press con or um, you can press ctrl d if you want to duplicate it or you will go on next door now right click the closed door and press duplicate and yeah I, i'm just gonna duplicate i'm just gonna press this button right here to duplicate all right so now let's rotate it there you go now let's rename uh let's rename this animated door wait let's just name this into almost open door there you go all right so now duplicate again and then rotate it like that okay there you go all right all right so now um let's rename this one into open door let's remove the word almost let's remove this there you go all right so now let's let's make the almost open door and the open door transparency is equal to one so let's make it transparency is equal to one let's make it transparent Alright, so on Explorer, if you don't have the Explorer, you have to go on View, then press Explore right here. This is the Explore. Ex um, I mean, you will press Properties. My bad. It's Properties. It's not Explore, okay? This is Properties. Alright, so now we're gonna make it transparent. So, let's make the transparency is equal to 1. There you go. Alright, so now, you will search, search on Properties, can collide. Make sure to um, disable the can collide. There you go. Alright, now you're done. Alright, so now we're gonna add approximately prompt on the closed door. Alright, so on on the closed door and uh, next door, yeah, you, ha you have to press the plus logo on closed door. Now we're we're gonna add a uh, proximity prompt. There you go. And right here, click on proximity prompt and then we're gonna customize it. Alright, so right here it says here action text. 
I'm gonna make it open door the action text and there you go now I'm gonna make the whole dur duration into one or maybe two just don't make it a little um, just don't make it very long because it will it will take forever to hold E alright once you change it to one hit enter there you go now right here it says your object text I'm gonna make it name door there you go and just like that alright so now we're gonna press this plus logo on the proximity prompt press the plus logo and then add the script and there you go you don't have to rename the script okay okay so delete this the word it says print hello world so let's delete it right now all right so we're we're not um i mean we're gonna create the variables first so local um local um proximity prompt equals script dot parent and there you go all right so we're gonna add another variable if you want to add more variable you have to press enter now you are on the line 2 right now so on line 2 we're gonna add a uh, variable again so local close door equals game that workspace there you go all right so now add another local almost open door equals game that workspace now we are gonna add the last variable so local uh local open door equals game dot workspace and there you go we are done all right so now hit enter now hit enter again all right so we're gonna add the script uh proximity prompt or or maybe script that burn i'm just gonna go with the script that burn there you go script that burn that prompt button hold, hold hand ended connect function user and then right here we're gonna do this game that workspace that close door the transfer key is equal to one then game that workspace that close door that can collide is equal to false then wait zero seconds there you go game that workspace that almost open door that transparency is equal to zero wait zero game that workspace that almost open door that transparency is equal to one and game that workspace that almost almost open door that can collide is equal to false there you go all right so now wait zero again and then we're gonna add the last script all right so game that workspace that open door that transparency is equal to zero and there you go uh let me explain to you the script so local is basically i uh, um you will you will add some variables there you will you can add some variables with the word local and then if you remove the word local it's not a variable anymore but if you add a local word on it it's a variable right now so right here it says your script that parent uh you can make it proximity prompt if you want to because um you see here on explorer if you press the script 
on the proximity pump and then we're gonna search parent on properties the parent is proximity pump so you can you can add any right here if you want script that parent script that parent still works and then the proximity pump still works as well and I'm just gonna go with the proximity pump there you go and yeah we're done all right so now let's go play this game let's see if it works um if this method doesn't work please make sure to comment down below because maybe that, ca that i can help you all right so if we come closer to the door it says here door and then it says here open open door so whatever if i hold e it opens the door you see that it opens the door okay so um let's stop this first i have i have another method so um if the closed door becomes transparent and um you want to make the proximity prompt um not there um you have to go back to script and okay wait so right here um script the parent that max activation distance is equal to zero and there you go okay wait let's clear output the output first so to make sure that our script has no errors okay let's wait all right so now we're we're inside the game all right so let's hold e and there you go we open the door and then the proximity prompt doesn't show up anymore because the door is not um the door is transparent right now and that is how you that is how you make hold e to open door in roblox studio so guys that's it for the video please make sure to like and subscribe and turn notification bell to all to see more videos and see you